New tonight, the piano store owner accused of taking expensive pianos on consignment and never paying a dime to some clients has just been formally charged. Team 10 was first to expose Peter Schroeder, who owns this store on La Jolla Boulevard. 10 News reporter Riel Creighton is there live, and Riel Schroeder faces over a dozen felony counts, including elder abuse. Yeah, 14 felony counts to be exact. Obviously, the store is now closed, but we've made several attempts to try to get in contact with the owner with no luck. He's faced several civil lawsuits in the past, but for the first time, he is facing criminal charges. For Lance Pelkey, it's become a personal mission. He was just preying on so many people. Eight years, he says he's tried and failed to get justice. Ever since, he says he was taken for his piano and thousands by the owner of this piano shop. On La Jolla Boulevard, Schroeder Piano is, according to its website, a family-owned business for over 100 years. Part of its business, consignment, helping people sell their pianos. Now, the man behind these grand pianos, Peter Schroeder, charged with 14 felony counts, including fraud, theft, and elder abuse. They just weren't straightforward with us. Team 10 first told you about Schroeder in September when the pastor at Grace Church told us the church was never paid for the sale of their piano. They sued, and when Team 10 checked the records, they found several lawsuits against Schroeder. Tom Hole is the alleged victim in count three of the criminal complaint against Schroeder. In the consignment deals, he would get 40 percent, we'd get 60 percent. Shortly before his wife passed away, he says they went to check on the inherited piano they'd consigned with Schroeder, who said he'd sell it for 35000 He couldn't find the piano in the store and says he never found a check in the mail for what would have been $21,000. I think he's a weasel. For Pelkey, it's jail time. He wants to change Schroeder's tune. It's been a long time coming. Now, again, we did make repeated attempts to try to get in contact with Schroeder. He never returned our calls. Tom Hole does say that Schroeder sent him a check for $2,000 in June, but he says he believes that's after he found out that he was being investigated. We're live in La Jolla tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News.